Hi, this is Zoe, and um, today is Sunday again. <laughs> so, I uh, just want to share my thoughts about church. Um, I, I think there was an interesting um, comment made last week from, from my teacher, and um, he said that the church format these days are actually geared towards the intellectual. Um, so we were talking, of, we were actually sharing the different sacred pathways to God and maybe I just read you, there are nine sacred pathways, spiritual pathways, sorry, spiritual pathways, not sacred pathways. Um, basically the ways we feel most comfortable connecting with the Lord. Um, first are the intellectuals, loving God with the mind. Second, naturalists, loving God out of doors. Third, sensates, loving God with the senses. Traditionalists, loving God through rituals and symbols. Aesthetics, loving God in solitude and simplicity. Activists, loving God through action. Caregivers, loving God by loving others. Enthusiasts, loving God with mystery and celebration. Contemplatives, loving God through adoration. And I think this was really uh, enlightening to me. Uh, I used to think that I was uh, just an intellectual. Uh, that was my spiritual pathway to God. Um, but through taking the simple survey, I realized um, I have been become, I think, an ascetic, which is loving God through solitude and simplicity. And that was helpful because it also um, allowed me to understand and not condemn myself about trying to hide away with God although the Bible talks about yes the Bible talks about not forsaking the assembling of ourselves and that is a bit of my struggle um, and of course uh, I think the I, I scored high in the aesthetic and second in the uh, intellectual part so um, so you might think, you know, since I am quite high uh, in terms of my spiritual, my secondary uh, preferred pathway, it's a loving God with the mind, then why would I hesitate um, going to church? Uh, the church, for, the modern church format, at least on the Protestant side, is mostly on the teaching. So we have about, uh, in my church, half an hour of worship, about... Um, and 45 minutes of teaching and then followed by about 15 minutes of announcements so um, the majority of the part is you know singing and the, the learning and I think that is the, the case in most Protestant churches and in fact in uh, my previous church it was almost like one and a half hours uh, I used to love to go to church when I didn't know much to learn but I think the, circ the circumstances that uh, that I, the situation that I'm in now is quite different. Uh, God has blessed us with YouTube and with really solid teaching. I mean, you need to actually uh, research your teachers before you hear their teachings on YouTube because YouTube has the good and the nonsense as well. So, um, so I, their teaching is freely, freely, freely available. And so the hunger now at my stage is really for community and also to meet God as a corporate body, which I feel that uh, is not really emphasized. Um, the, the pathway that I'm leaning on is more solitude and stillness and finding God in the quiet. Uh, and, you know, through reading, um, uh, reading a book called Streams of Living Water, I realized that there are certain, like for example, the Society of Friends or uh, more popularly known as the Quakers these days, uh, who sit in a corporate body and wait upon the Lord and the brethren also does that. They would sit and wait on God to move and then, uh, you know, uh, have someone come up to speak. So, uh, whatever the Lord has placed on their hearts. And I yearn for that kind of leading uh, you know where God uses each one of the body to edify one another and I think there's a certain level of equipping and training that needs to go into that and so um, I'm thinking that the church format these days are, are a, a little well I think it's a it's 
it doesn't suit me as much. I think that I think many people feel that the teaching is necessary, and I think the teaching is necessary in church. It's just that I'm just wondering the role of teaching in church where there's so many good books these days, and where there's um, so many YouTube sermons. You know, I think probably the format could be different. Like we come as a corporate body to seek the Lord, to hear what He has for us, and the teaching can can still, um, you know, be within a small group. In fact, maybe a small group might even be more optimal because it allows questions and answers, you know, and community as well. So anyway, um, these are my thoughts this Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So as I make my way to church. Um, yeah, so even even like praise and worship, you know, I feel, I feel um, that we mustn't be shackled by a church traditions. Um, rituals are good. Rituals are good. I think there was one point of time I felt like the Catholic rituals, perhaps earlier on in the century, might be too formulaic, but I think. I mean, now at my stage of life, I see the beauty of rituals. I attended a mass about two or three, about three weeks ago, and it touched me quite deeply. I think even the act of kneeling, you know, I think there's some um, reverence that perhaps we have forgotten uh, by standing or kneeling whenever the word of God is read, and I think it's really important. I think my church reads uh reads the verses and they allow you know uh they allow good intention to people and who love the lord to read but sometimes the pronunciation <laughs> is an error or it seems as if it's the first time the person is reading that particular verse and i'm thinking i think we although yes we don't look at ability we look at faithfulness but uh, i think we should prepare ourselves and practice before reading in as a corporate body and there shouldn't be mispronunciation you know uh, well I guess it's an occupational hazard as an English teacher I cringe but there's a level of excellence I feel that needs to be uh, needs to be there when we are representing God and especially in the reading of his word so these are my thoughts for today. I would love to hear what you what you have to say uh, in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.